Hello, I'm Alex Davies, founder of Wealth Club. Today I'm with James Livingston, partner at Foresight Group. Hello, James. Hello. Um, first, perhaps you could just tell me a little bit about Foresight Group. Sure. So Foresight have been going a bit over 30 years, started as a tech VC firm. Um, we now manage 2.7 billion in energy infrastructure and private equity. I'm a partner in the private equity team. We look after about 400 million, of which the majority is um, retail, retail money, so VCT funds primarily. So you've got um, Foresight 4, which has been launched for a few months now. Um, tell me about it and what, what's its aim for investors? Sure. So Foresight 4 is a roughly 80 million um, fund. It's a generalist uh, private equity fund with about 20 assets within it, diversified across TMT, uh, consumer um, and, and, and business services, amongst others, um, looking to generate an attractive yield for investors. Okay, and historically, I, it's you've merged recently with Foresight Three. That's right. And um, I think it could be fair to say that it's a bit of a mishmash of stuff. And um, historically, some of the performance hasn't been so good. Although I recognise it's, it's got a lot better lately. Um, perhaps you just give us a little history of of the of the VCT. Sure. Let me give you. A, um, yeah, there's a long and boring history, but in, in summary. Um, Foresight took over the management of a variety of other venture capital trusts from other managers um, over the, the previous years, and those various assets have been merged into Foresight 4. Um, and the reason you take over funds from other managers is they're not performing particularly well. Um, so we've taken over those funds, we've um, repositioned the portfolio, exited the ones or the investments led by other managers, and the portfolio is now entirely um, private equity assets or very largely private equity assets invested by the Foresight private equity team. We've got a track record of roughly three times the money on our last uh, 40 or so exits. So um, there's a stronger um, underlying portfolio now than there has been for many years. So let's talk about your investments, um, recent investments. Um, any particular ones you'd like to tell me about? Sure. Um, let me give you a couple. So ProCam is a, a business we backed a couple of years ago. They provide cameras and crew for TV production. I don't know if they find the cameras here. Um, so they'll, they'll help uh, shoot things like Made in Chelsea, other uh, Dramality and, and, and Magic shows, for example. Um, they provide cameras to some of the biggest producers in the country, so ITV, the BBC, as well as large independents. Um, uh, and that's a business we've helped grow from about 5 million revenue to nearing 17 million this year. FFX is another example. That's a power tool and building products distribution business, largely online. Uh, we helped introduce uh, a chairman there called George Adams, who used to run Screwfix. So he's been very helpful mm. there. And um, the, those are quite different businesses. Are. are there? Is there a particular criteria you have? What are you looking for? Yeah, it, it boils down to sustainable competitive advantage. So that can be that can be a whole variety of things. So that can be a particularly strong management team, differentiated service levels. A restaurant format or a, or a technology or a, a, a large number of things. Um, uh, ultimately, you're backing a management team um, who are at the scale we're investing, which we're investing one to five million typically in smaller companies. And the team are never, are never the finished article. So we'll help them bring in strong chairman, like George I mentioned earlier, or in the case of Blackstar, which is a guitar amplifier business we exited uh, a few months ago. Uh, we brought in a guy called Keith Pacey, who founded Maplin, obviously knows a lot about sourcing and selling electronics. Um, so we help appoint strong chairman and finance directors often as well to help businesses grow and scale and break out of the, uh, the smaller company bracket. Okay, so um, any um, companies you try and avoid? Yeah, cyclical. Uh, so we tend not to do very cyclical markets. Um, also, pre-revenue biotech. Um, so we you know, drug discovery, extremely high risk, and we, we, we don't do that. Um, so we're a generalist, um, generalist investor, and we see all sorts of weird and wonderful businesses. And there's a lot of money going to VCTs at the moment, um, rumoured to be, say, a billion pounds this year, but going to be raised. Are you finding increased competition for these deals? We are, but we are sourcing harder and smarter. So we've got a team of 16 people now. We uh, source transactions from across the country. We see about 1,000 deals a year now. We, that's, that's gone up materially over the last few years, actually. We've opened offices in Manchester and Nottingham, um, as well as our base in London. Um, and we've recently hired a direct origination specialist from a mid-market product firm. Um, so we are, we are uh, looking harder. And there's about 5 million SMEs in the UK today. Um, so there's plenty out there, you've just got to find them. What other successful exits have you had? Sure, so, so Blackstar, we, uh, we received 2x cash and ca uh, cash for that uh, relatively recently. Uh, another recent exit was the business called The Bunker, which was um, 
XMOD nuclear bunkers now filled with uh, humming servers, so data center business. Uh, we uh, returned 2.4 times money on that, sold to Palatine mid-market. Uh, productive firm uh, outside of the Foresight 4 portfolio, but also in our VCT portfolio, we sold a business called Sumulity, which is an IoT tech business to Arm, the big Cambridge-based um, uh, tech tech business. Uh, that is that is exactly the kind of deal we want to do uh, with the Foresight 4 fundraise. We invested in October, Arm bought it in in July, a whole period of eight months. We did three times money, so we'd love to do more of those. And are there any um, businesses at the moment you've got in your portfolio that are uh, looking likely for an exit soon? Is there any companies you're particularly excited about? Yeah, there's a, there's a number that are, that, are, that are mature and been in the portfolio for a number of years. Procal, I mentioned earlier, now at good scale. Uh, TFC is another business um, of similar sort of scale. Uh, Datapath has been in the portfolio for a number of years. That's a 3D graphics cards business uh, that is going to, you know, a, you know, a material amount of EBITDA. Um, so th there's a good variety of maturities in the fund. Uh, so a number of those assets we anticipate you know, mo moving on in, in the relatively near term. Um, but equally, there's a number of assets we invested in 2015, 2016, uh, well, probably 2015, um, providing um, you know more medium term exit opportunities. And the VCT rules obviously changed in 2015. Yeah. How's that affected you and your strategy? Sure. So Foresight, at its heart, 30 years ago, started as a growth cap investor, the first 15, 20 years of its life, um, then diversified into renewables and, and small cap buyouts and growth cap as well. Um, so we were doing a combination of, of buyouts and a growth cap in the VCTs. So it's just a refocus purely towards growth capital deals. It also brings us back more to our tech heritage, really. So the IoT, the Internet of Things business, I mentioned Simulity, that was a, um, uh, yeah, that was firmly in the, you know, the VCT uh, rules, you know, you know, the, the early, you know, under seven years old, growth cap deal, uh, fairly classic. So, so it, it moves us back to our, towards our heritage, really. So the new rules of encouraging investment in younger, um, certainly riskier businesses, um, you're going to get failures. Um, how many would you expect as a proportion of what you invest in? Yeah, difficult, difficult question. I think um, we're investing in often younger, often faster growth now companies. So you'd expect um, some some um, outstanding returns. So AppDNA we sold to Citrix um, a number of years ago. That was a 33 times money deal. They don't happen very often, um, but when they do, they're fantastic. Clearly, um, and you know, a counter to that, you know, how many AppDNAs will you get? They're relatively rare, but equally you will have failures. Um, I'd hope it'd be less than one in ten, but it's not an exact science. And you're investing in SMEs, which which can be buffeted by markets and competitors, um, but equally they can they can move quickly. And finally, before you go, I'm going to invest in some VCTs this year. Why should I choose Foresight Four? Okay, um, so Foresight, a long established brand, been been going over thirty years. Uh, the recent performance of the fund is very positive. It's a nicely diversified fund of good scale, um, uh, and we've got a good pipeline of, of VCT deals, as proven by the recent investments from Foresight VCT. So we, we hope you'll be joining us this year in our, in our fundraising. Well, thanks very much. Um, James Livingston from Foresight. Pleasure. Thank you. Thanks.